Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I try to do weekly videos on the outdoors, do-it-yourself survival and reviews. And in this video, uh, we're kind of doing a little bit of a DIY and also a review. So at the springtime, the wife and I came up with our snowmobile and we made a very uh, dramatic discovery. All right, so uh, we just rode up here on the snowmobile and we came back to the cabin and found this. And so, I, hypothesis time. All right, let's, let's Quentin Tarantino this. Flashback to probably two, three weeks ago is what I'm imagining this happened. Um, the big old thing of snow probably came off and then hit this. Uh, there was a follower that asked if I was concerned about this happening um, and ripping down the gutter. And uh, originally I said no. Well, and I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite my words on that one. So this is effed. I'm gonna do a little bit of Viet Cong action. I'm gonna get into that hole. There's water in it. There's water in it. It's about. But we're not wasting it. It's about <laughs> knee deep. I'm gonna get in there, and I'm gonna push really hard. <laughs> and, and, I, and, and I'm hoping that this thing pops right back up. Um, I thought that because the angled fascia was hiding a lot of the gutter, that the gutters would be safe. Clearly I was wrong. So, uh, shout out to the guy who, uh, put that up cause I'm going to eat my own words on that one. Um, but essentially what we decided to do was put up some snow breaks for this year. And there's a lot of different styles out there, but the one that was easiest to install and I felt made the most sense was this one made by SnowGuard. And there's a few different styles and variations and flavors, but the one that I decided to get was the one they have on Amazon. They come in boxes of 50. And they're basically UV treated polycarbonate uh, little angle brackets like this. So essentially it comes in three pieces. You have the gasket, which has a channel, locks into here. And then you have uh, a bag of um, neoprene washer screws that are self-tapping. And so I decided to get this because I didn't want to deal with the caulking gun and all that stuff wall up on the roof and doing all that. So the first row, they want 12 inches from the side. Ooh, almost fell. They want 12 inches from the side or the edge of where the gutter is gonna be. So I'm just taking these and I'm getting the gasket into the groove. That's gonna be a pain. And so we're supposed to go every other one, 12 inches from there. So I'm gonna flip this around or, uh, or point it downward. That way you guys can see kind of better what I'm doing instead of just my face. So this edge is gonna have one. So skip, then this one. So let's go 12 inches. First screw. And there you have it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think one of the interesting things is that they really stressed that the flat spot with the shorter bit should be facing up the slope, not the other way around. And you would think it's kind of self-explanatory, but I guess they've had to fix a lot of people's issues because otherwise this part would collect water and then since this is higher than where the, where the holes are, this thing just fills up with water and then gives you all sorts of issues. So I can imagine replacing a, uh, a roof because of bad instructions or not thorough instructions enough is gonna be costly. So uh, I, what I'm gonna do actually, instead of putting a string there, is uh, I'm gonna get a two by four and then get two of them and then just play off that. That's gonna be my plan.
So that is the installations and first impressions on the SnowGuard Snowbrake. Uh, these are really easy to install. They're relatively inexpensive considering that the uh, custom made ones, you know, few hundred dollars to start out with and then go upwards of thousands of dollars from there. These were I think $110 on Amazon. They got delivered in about two days and uh, they give you 50 of them. And so 50 for the size cabin that I have was able to give me two rows. Since I live in an area that has an uh, average of eight feet of snowfall annually, they suggested having four rows. So two boxes per side of the cabin and then I should be good to go. Obviously, it's not sling right now, so I can't tell you how well it's gonna work, but if you guys are viewing this later, after the, uh, the winter and all after the few uh, snows have hit, uh, go ahead and look down in the description below. I'll let you know how these work in the description below. So um, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can always go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know that these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.